Hey, it's Bunny High. Welcome. Um, so I'm going to be doing a random rambling today. Sorry if I sound a little stumped up. I don't know why. Um, I don't feel sick or anything. Maybe it's allergies without me noticing. I wanted to uh, do a video yesterday because it was 2 22 that just seems um, like a good opportunity to post, but I just, I have a lot going on, and I'm trying to figure it all out, and it's just a lot of like, I don't know, but I do want to thank today Cheryl for her tip slash donation. Um, I really do appreciate it, and it means a lot to me, and it really does help me um, make time to make my videos because I do have to earn an income of some sort. Uh, every every little bit, literally helps. So, um, this random rambling is going to be a little bit different because I literally had the scariest moment door dashing and I had to stop door dashing because I was just really shooken up and it was really scary and, uh, it, uh, I, <sighs> but I do want to, on a positive note, show you my dining room, because I told you guys about it before, so, um, I need to plug, I need to turn on some stuff real quick, so you can get the full effect. Okay, so this is the dining room. It has all the little lantern ball things up. Um, I put my pink duvet over the chair um, and added the Powerpuff Girl throw blanket. Um, this is my caboodle but um this light's supposed to be on too but I have like these lights on wrapping around um Yeah, I really don't know what's going on why I sound like this. For real. But yeah. So that's the dining room. I actually got a dining room table. And it's like a table that you put in like a cafeteria. Like it's got like the metal. It's very durable. And it's brown, but it's very, like, it doesn't wiggle, like, it's very, like, durable. It's like a table they put in, like, a cafeteria, you know? So yeah, this is my dining room now. I got all those things hung up. I think it really completes the look to have all those up there. I love it. All right. Oh, 
<sighs> Give me a minute here. Okay, so I changed. Um, it's really hot right now. So, I'm wearing these shorts with the tie-dye um, shirt from Hollister. <sighs> okay. been door dashing all day and I had to stop after the <laughs> the last delivery of all day long my door dash destinations were complicated every single one of them I had to deliver to medical facilities, trying to find what floor people are on. Um, some of them not even in the building. Like, like, I don't know why people don't put, like, specific directions, especially if you're, uh, you know that it's complicated. Like, I just feel <sighs> like it's a lot. So I had to deliver to multiple locations. I'm trying to think of one that wasn't complicated, but literally all of them were complicated. One of them, I had to park at the end of basically what felt like a mountain. Their driveway went all the way up, like all the way up, and they ordered groceries, so I had to grocery shop for them. Well, I go all the way up. Mind you, they ordered so many groceries i didn't want to do a second trip because i was like i just want to get this over with so it's pretty heavy they ordered a pack of um sprite you know like packs of drinks or whatever and um, i had to walk up this very long upward hill driveway and deliver their door dash and when I went to go put because they said leave it at the door when I went to go put the food or the drink that's all they ordered was drinks which was weird um so I went in to deliver it and they're watching me through the window and then they start talking to me through the window. Mind you, they had a mesh um, covering on the window so like bugs wouldn't get in, you know? Well, the mesh was so dark, I couldn't even see the person. Like I couldn't, they were talking to me and I was like, I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking to talk or whatever, um, but I was just like, have a great day <laughs> and then in one hospital building there was multiple orders well normally I'll deliver one order and then I'll select to deliver the other order and it just kind of goes in order of what uh, who gets what first um, so I had two orders while well, they ended up being in the same building. I'm like, what are the chances of what are, and they, two different facilities, two different people. So I walked all the way back to my car, selected the next person's door dash, and said you've arrived and I'm like what I'm in the parking lot of the previous order 
<clears throat> and it's like fine okay so uh, I had went into this one office to ask about the previous order that I delivered because I was like where's where's this number address whatever and they were like oh it's on the bottom level and I was like okay well ended up I have I had a I had to go back into that same office where I asked for directions because somebody in that office had ordered food as well. So I was walking back in and I was like, this is so embarrassing because I asked for directions in here and then now I'm having to go back there to deliver the order because the people were in the same building and I didn't know that. I just like to thank Cheryl once again for donating, especially today when it's been really hard for me. Who else? So that was that one. Uh, I can't remember. <clears throat> Some of them were pretty low-key, even though they're out. There was another one. Literally, they were down a driveway, a dirt road that's not even, like, on the map. It's like... So I'm driving down this dirt road. <clears throat> and all I see is, like, warehouses. And I'm like, oh my god. And I was like, now I have to try to find this person. There's like warehouses everywhere, different ones. And then I looked at the note they left and they said they were in a blue warehouse. And then I finally found it. Um, well, I go into the warehouse to deliver the food and it's like they had a whole operation going on there. It was so weird. It, but they had like a whole office space and there was like a lot of people on computers. It was so weird. It, like I would have thought there was like mechanics, people working on, you know, machines or whatever. No, they had like a whole like hidden office space so that was kind of sketchy and I was like what and I told the person I was like oh my god y'all have like a whole office inside this building like it you would have never known you would have never known and I was super surprised I was like what is happening right now So, hold on. Okay, so, and then, um, then, I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go all day today. I was gonna door dash all day, push myself. And so, when I did my last order, I could not continue. I could not. Um, it was, I don't know what today was. Um, it was like, if anything could go against me, it would, and it did. Um, so, the last one that really put the icing on the cake, or the cherry on top, I, uh, they had a really big order, and I didn't, I normally don't check addresses, or, you know, the mileage of what 
the how far what is or whatever because I always calculate it within hours like how much should I make an hour uh, a ride maybe or not a ride a dash maybe 30 minutes it's only six dollars but if you do another dash within the hour you know you, you and that's another six dollars you'd be making twelve dollars an hour sometimes it takes longer than that to deliver food because you have to wait on restaurants to get food together which i had to wait 30 minutes to 45 minutes at restaurants before to deliver one order uh, but the last door dash made me stop door dashing for the day for the day I literally was shaking I'm getting goosebumps right now <sighs> Um, during the whole tour dash journey, I haven't had really any issues, just well, a couple people having attitude problems, but, you know, whatever, um, This store dash scared me. I, like I said, I don't pay attention to addresses. I just deliver. I'm delivered to the hood. I'm delivered to the most broken down uh, areas of where I live. You know, I don't care. Um, as long as I'm making money, I don't care where you live, you know, I'll deliver. I know there are people who know the area and they won't deliver to those areas. Well, I don't pay attention. I'm just like, whatever. So, um, this one delivery, the last one I did, uh, Um, I wasn't, I delivered to that area before, but not on this particular route. Um, I was like, oh, this is different. Never been down here, whatever. And I was like, okay, whatever. Well, I couldn't find the address because the house had no no indication of what address that house is <laughs> and so what I do is it's I, looking at the, all the mailboxes and I kept saying okay this house has to be the one so I try to contact the people and I'm like uh, what color is your house so I know Well, within minutes, <clears throat> minutes of me, um, sending that message, a guy comes out of the house and he's staying on the porch, or it's not even a porch, it's just a staircase. And I was like, is this address so-and-so? He was like, yeah. I was like, okay, mind you, I'm sitting in my car and they're on the stairs. I was like, okay, cool. So I walked to the other side of my car and opened the door to get the food because they had a lot of food, um, more than usual, you know. So they had multiple drinks, they had a big bag um, so I went around my car and I, uh, bent over trying to get all the food together and the drinks. 
And I'll turn around and the guy is standing there behind me. And I was like, oh, I, I was like kind of surprised. I was like, because a second ago they were standing on the stairs. So I was like, that's fine, whatever. So I, you know, was giving them the order and I was like, because oh, I had such a big order. And I was like, do you want to go ahead and take this and put it in the house and come back and then I'll give you this so that way you don't have to carry everything, you know, at one time. They're like, no, it's fine. And I was like, okay. So, you know, I'm bending down in the, the passenger seat you know, getting their drinks and their food. I'm bent over. When I come back to give them the drinks, they look at me and they say, are you gay? And I said, I was so surprised that I was like, why would they ask me that question? And I was kind of stuttering a little bit and I was like, yeah. And they were like, oh. And I was like, okay. I was like, I didn't know if he was gonna be like, if he was gonna like attack me, you know? Uh, started to get a little scared because of what was already going on and how close they were because they were already really close to me while I'm trying to like get the stuff out of my car and I said yeah and then he was like do you have a boyfriend and I was like no and he was like okay well can you pick me up tonight or whatever and I was like no I'm okay I was like you have a great day um, and he was like well, why not and I was like just because I was like you have a good day and then he kept getting closer and closer and I was like I'm good you know I'm fine just, you know, have a good day. Uh, I was shaking at this point because they weren't backing down and they just kept asking why. <laughs> when somebody says no, that means no. So I was shaking and I closed my passenger's door. I already gave them their food. And I was like, okay, here's this. I was like, you have a good day. Have a great day. Um, thank you, you know, whatever. Just trying to like change the subject. And they kept going back to it. And I closed my passenger door and I leave the car on when I door dash now because nothing in particular has happened to me. I'm just read that people have been carjacked and things like that. So I leave my car on so that I can run and get in the car and run away, basically. So I get in my car really fast and I'm like shaking and I'm just like, oh, this guy wouldn't stop. And then he just stood there and he was staring at me, just staring at me. And I was like, why is he staring at me? And I've never been in this neighborhood before. 
But as I was pulling out, he's, he, and I don't know what the deal with him was. It was just like walking fast or what. But when I pulled out, or maybe I was just going slower than I thought I was because I was scared. And I look over and he's standing on the stairs just watching me. I didn't know what direction I was going, where to turn, whatever, because their house was on a corner and it, I was so frazzled that I couldn't remember which way I came. And I was just like, turning to well, I was just like, I gotta get out of here. Um, it was very scary. Uh, this person had to be like 19 or 20 years old. And it just really scared me. Like, I was so... Like, I let my guard down, you know, I let my guard down, and I realized now I had to end my door dash, I had to, I just, that was just the icing on the cake, and I was like, I didn't know if he was going to beat me up, I didn't know if he was going to rob me, I didn't, I don't know. It was very scary. And the look in his eyes. Scared me. And it was like. This person. Is very serious. Right now. Like. Right now. Like. No hesitation. At all. It truly, and you know, it's sad that I'm thinking in my head, oh, that's the first weird or, you know, bad experience, you know, that's normal, it happens to everybody, and that's literally what I think in my head, is I was just like, well, everybody has a story about door dashing. could have been a lot worse. It could have it doesn't matter what it could have. I'm here. I'm fine. But I thought I was doing everything right to prevent you know anything like that happening and it may seem a little dramatic but when you're in the moment and it's happening to you it's very scary this person was very tall Compared, compared to me and they wouldn't stop <sighs> so now I'm like do I continue you know delivering in that area I just feel like it's a very dangerous area and it's not me farting it's my bean bag chair <laughs> thing whatever bean bag thing um, Yeah. 
that happened. <sighs> it's been a day. And I was supposed to hear from the job about, I was supposed to start yesterday or today. And I haven't heard anything and I sent them a message and nothing. So I am on the hunt of looking for a job because I thought I already had a job, you know. Their communication is horrible. So I'm no longer, I feel like I no longer want to work for these people because it's through a temp agency and they, <laughs> basically I'm working for the temp agency. So it makes me wonder when I start the job, how great is this temp agency going to be when already they, it's a very horrible experience for me. So what in the future I need to contact them and say, you know, oh, I'm sick or something. How horrible is this temp agency going to be to communicate with them? So I basically I think I'm going to give it up. Even though it's a really great opportunity. Uh I was going to make good money, but it's always an excuse with this place, like, oh, we need this, oh, we need that, oh, we need this. Okay, I took two drug tests because one was diluted or dilated or something. Which doesn't even make sense to me. But whatever. I, I know I'm going to pass my drug test because I don't do drugs. Uh, and my background check, I know it's going to pass because I don't have history. So, it's just like, I've already done all that. And then they tell me, well, we're just waiting on the company to finalize everything. And they're like, this is normal for them to take a minute to get all the information together. Well, in the meantime, I'm unemployed. I need to start like yesterday so that I can make money to pay my bills. So, until then, I have to DoorDash. And... It's not a problem. But today, really... I'm going to try not to break down. <laughs> That's 
part of my videos. That's one of my videos. Uh, random. Uh, just. Not really in the zone. Makes me feel like every everything I've done in my life to one more. Try not to break down. I try to make it seem like everything is okay. And I, I've been hiding my feelings from, from you guys because I just what good vibes, you know? It's, it hasn't been good vibes. I hate it in the video. I hate it. 